Hey guys, it's Will Patterson again from Break Designs and I'm coming with a new tutorial. Um, it's not really the Blemos tutorial but it is a, um, a Photoshop tutorial and I've only really been doing illustrated tutorials at the moment so I thought I would show you how to create this sort of frosted back um, gloss thing here. Uh, I did get this from another tutorial but you won't be able to see it because I, I paid for it. So uh, this is something that I did get from someone else, but I thought I'd share it with you with my own little tweaks of what I liked. So with this, this is a sort of a background that we're going to make, but you can make some text over the top of it, which we should do in the next few tutorials, and I'll show you how to do that. So we're going to just work on doing this just now. Okay, so I'm going to go and create a new document of 1280 by 720 making sure that it is an 8-bit RGB colour, and that is important, and the background contents are white. Okay, there we go. And then I'm going to hold down Alt and then going to double click on the background layer to make it editable. And then I'm going to change the name to BG so we know it's a background layer. Now, making sure that your swatches here, your color swatches, uh, are at default, press D because if they're not, you can tell because they'll be like red and whatever. But press D, making sure it's black uh, on the foreground and white on the background. Then, when you're on this background layer, hold Alt and then Backspace, and you'll get a black background straight away. The first thing we're going to do now is we're going to right-click on this layer and go to Convert to Smart Object. And that will just make it easier for us for when we're in the filter menu, because when we use smart filters, we can edit them within smart objects. And this is totally customizable. When you just click on it, you get a PSB document, and you can just change what's happening here. Awesome, so now we're back in here. I'm going to go to Filter and then go to Render and then I'm going to go to clouds and it should just look like that and you should have like clouds here where we can go ahead and double click a few times to change it if we wanted to then we're going to go up here again and go to render again and go to difference clouds and you should get something like this now you can change it around by just double clicking it um, but you want something like this then go to filter and then filter gallery now you will not see filter gallery here if you've used a document um, that is CMYK or if it is higher than uh, 16 bits because uh, Photoshop is weird like that and I don't really know why but it just doesn't do it so we're going to go to filter gallery and these are some of the uh, things I've done so we're going to go to distort and then glass and these here are some of the uh, values that I put in that work great for 1280 uh, by 720 so this is what I've got, I've got 18 for distortion Two for smoothness, uh, texture is frosted, and that's and you can change this around. You can go to blocks, you can go to canvases, and stuff like that. And um, then scaling, I've got to 100%. You could invert it, but it won't look very good. So I'm going to go back to frosted, go to inverted. It looks very, looks basically the same. But um, there we go, and press OK, and you will have your background. Now, if you see in this other one, we've got this sort of rust. Uh, to it, which is what we want. We don't really want a glass background. We want this sort of rust, sort of rusted uh, metal background. And this one is just basically black and white. So we need to go to our blending options by right clicking and going to blending options. In our layer styles panel, we need to go to pattern overlay, and everyone will have this pattern. And um, so when you're on pattern overlay, you'll see this pop up and there's loads of little weird balls or whatever. Click on your little uh, patterns here. And then somewhere, and I've got a load of custom patterns here, but somewhere you'll see this pattern. If you just hover over it, it'll say Rusted Metal 64 by 64 RGB mode. Uh, and when you click on it, you'll get this, and it's basically Rusted Metal. Uh, now, that really doesn't look very good right there at the moment. So what we're going to have to do is go and change the blend mode. Uh, I'm going to change this to Soft Light, and this is just what works for me. And then we're going to go down to the opacity and change that to 20. And we can add that up if we wanted to. So I might do 25 even. Because that looks really good just there. And press OK. And then we're going to get rid of the smart filters masking layer because we don't need it. I'm going to push up there. And this is literally a whole design done from scratch onto Photoshop. And we're going to press Shift and F to get the full screen mode. And there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. That has been um, a tutorial on how to make this cool rusted metal background. Give it a like rating. Uh, some people want um, a lot of 3D text tutorials. They will be coming. Uh, I need to do my 3D sort of text in uh, Cinema 4D so I'm going to start working out the best ways for you guys to make 3D text easy 
in Cinema 4D. So stay tuned for that. Also, check out my website, follow me on Twitter, all that stuff. Subscribe to me right now if you haven't done already for more free tutorials that are coming out. So, guys, yeah, thank you so much for watching and goodbye.